Hey everyone, I'm Jim Green for OnStation.com. We are in Farmingville. We're outside the old Farmingville Bald Hill Historic Schoolhouse. And joining me now are... Jennifer Ross. Okay. BJ and Tini. And you're both involved with the Farmingville Historical Society. Correct. And you do? I, I'm the treasurer and the race director for Conquer the Hills. And you are? I'm the president of the Historical Society. Excellent. So we are here because on Black Friday, it's the annual Conquer the Hills 5K. Now it's an event that uh, takes place at the county park right next to the schoolhouse along Portion Road. And uh, it's an opportunity to come out, burn off those calories from Thanksgiving. But more importantly, too, it helps benefit the local history and the schoolhouse behind us for educational programs and restoring the building. So tell me a little bit about the event first. The event is a trail run, so it's a 5K trail run. It's also a hike, so for people who don't want to run, um, it's a great way to have the whole family participate and come out. It's a 2.6K hike. Um, it is a pretty tough you know, a lot of hills, hence Conquer the Hills. Um, we start at 9 a.m. and it's usually wrapped up by 10.30. Um, we have a good amount of people come up. We have a lot of return return racers um, and hikers come out. You can bring your dogs too, as long as they're on leash. Um, but it's an awesome day after Thanksgiving to burn off, like you said, those calories from that turkey dinner. I know I need it. So. <laughs> and the registration, you can register online ahead of time and tell yes. me about that. Um, you can register at conquerthehills.com. Um, it's an adult registration and a kid reg registration and everyone um, gets a t-shirt and some goodies and a nice goodie bag. Um, we have some amazing sponsors involved um, and they support all that. So um, for the price, it's a very good race. And you can register online up until when? Um, the Thanksgiving, it shuts off Thanksgiving and on Black Friday you can come down and register in person. Um, registration will close midnight the night before, um, but you can register the day of. And is it the same price? Or a little it's bit? a little bit more. Okay. Um, it's a little bit more. So. So, so an advantage to register ahead of time online on uh, up until Thanksgiving Day. So the event now, it uh, really benefits uh, the importance of local history. Tell me about that. Yes, uh, we have the one room schoolhouse that we are, we've just finished the foundation. It's it's been sitting for 167 years on a, on the first foundation. So Suffolk County just came in. They b raised the building, and they resecured the foundation for 100 another 167 years. We hope. And what we do is run programs for the local schools and the local people. And um, what we our next project is to restore the Elijah Terry House, which is the house behind us. And that we need to put. We have to finish the building so we can use it to support the schoolhouse. So funding for all our events goes to restore the Elijah Terry House now. Excellent. And then throughout the year, you have programs for uh, kids in several of the schools within Sachem Central School District. Absolutely. We have Linwood. We have Chippewa that's been coming to our, uh, op our school programs. If we had the Elijah Terry House open, we can open it up to more schools. They don't have to be in Sachem, but we're not there yet. We need to get this building finished first. We also have uh, in the first Saturday in May, we have our Civil War reenactor reenactment. And that's, we've been doing that for about six years now, six or seven years. And that's every year, first Saturday in May. Great. So, you know, when people are driving along here on Portion Road, they may not necessarily appreciate immediately the, the schoolhouse that's here, but it's really quite historic. I mean, when uh, people were growing up here yes. 150 years ago, this is where they went to school. This is where they went to school. This is the oldest schoolhouse in Brookhaven on its original foundation. It's been repaired, but it is original. Uh, the, uh, uh, the Elijah Terry House was the first schoolmaster in Farmingville. He didn't live long enough to teach at the school. He was quite an old man by the time the school was open, but this is his house, the original schoolmaster, and it was moved from down, um, down closer to Washington Avenue when this road was widened. Okay, great. And uh, so if anybody wants to register for the event, uh, we have, have a link on our website, www.onsachem.com. I'm happy to say, too, that Onsachem is sponsoring, too. Just yes, signed up this yes, week. Awesome. We'll be here that day. Uh, feature some of the, uh, show you some of the scenes from the race. In Farmingville, I'm Jim Green, onsachem.com.